Morning. New concerns about the security plan for Metro Elementary Schools. Board members had questions about the safety ambassadors who will replace the traditional SROs inside of school buildings. Elizabeth Lane is live at the Metro Police Hermitage Precinct with a look at how the director defended the joint security plan announced by the schools and police. Neil, good morning. And Metro's approach to school security and safety measures has certainly come with quite a bit of controversy this year, especially as Superintendent Dr. Adrian Battle initially opposed any kind of police presence at elementary schools across the district. Uh, but they did seem to reach some kind of compromise with Metro Police, uh, laying out their plan that uniformed officers will patrol the outside of the school only. Inside, Metro plans to staff safety ambassadors. We're told those ambassadors will not be in uniform. They'll be unarmed. Metro hopeful to recruit retired officers or teachers for these positions, even civilians in some cases. At last night's board meeting, one member asked for clarity on how the safety ambassador position would be effective in a violent situation. Dr. Battle says the approach is two pronged and while Metro police guard the outside, safety ambassadors have a job to do inside plan to be uniformed or armed, but working closely to build positive, lasting relationships with our students and pressure testing our safety measures on a daily basis so that we know where we need to plug in and where we need to make um, adjustments. It is a part of our school visit protocols. We're um, testing out those safety measures, but it is critically important to have someone on the ground daily doing that as well. And it's clear that they're still sort of working out exactly what that position is going to look like. But the recruiting process already underway for these school safety ambassadors. All of the additional security measures this year and all of the grade levels are going to come with an added price tag of about $6 million. Reporting live in Hermitage, Elizabeth Lane, News 2.